Hey you, have you ever been to Venice or the architecture or art biennale there? This video should be something like a postcard, but with film material and my note to you. It is June 2023 and it's the first time ever going to the architecture biennale, which happens twice a year. Venice was our first stop of the 10 days traveling and we had four passes of train rides with the interrail global ticket. You will see the following cities in another video, if you stay on the ride of course. We stayed at an Airbnb of an architect, very closely located at the main garden with all the international pavillons of the Biennale. The area there felt more local and I loved it there. Although we did have a kitchen, <laughs> we didn't cook once, which is completely fine in my regards, especially at the beginning of a holiday, especially if there's so many good foods in a country. We walked a lot for it since we were a bit more in the outskirts. And what is it not worth for to walk for delicious ravioli, tiramisu, gelato? Like once, we even hit the 21 kilometer mark when we walked across the entire city three times. An absolute highlight for me were the international pavillons, as you can see here, displayed of all the different countries and they all had different exhibitions some were more inspired by contemporary art others were more educational art yeah, it was so diverse but every country had its very own topic and simply to see the innovation of the individual countries was so very interesting to see i can totally see myself going to the Architecture Biennale again in the future and I can recommend it to anybody. We went to this main garden and there was another place where they had like additional pavillons but they were placed in the Arsenale or past Arsenale of the city. Architecture wise my favorite pavillon was the one of Canada. And also the exhibition there was very cool because it was about how to satisfy the housing demand. And exhibition wise, I really liked the exhibition of MIT, so USA, because they had like this immersive video where you could fly through. But I can't state this enough. There was so much to see. I was completely overwhelmed. You still have the chance to go there if you want to, so if that's something that interests you, like art, contemporary art, architecture, design, then please go ahead and do so if you have the possibility. The architecture in Venice itself was very much about keeping the hot air out and of course to impress. I wonder how the city may have looked like in its peak of innovation and richness because it was once a really like top cultural city in the world. The only things that remind us of this time are the ornamentations that rather look oriental if, and you wouldn't recognize them as typical Venice architecture but once you recognize them you see them everywhere also construction wise everything was about brick and maybe concrete cores and wooden roofs with also brick again contrary to this was the biennale with the topics of alternative building materials as you can see here with mushroom or how a deposit of old materials that were used in previous exhibition could be reused for further upcoming exhibitions so that you could simply start planning your pavillon or you're displaying your work with books already there. There were not as many tourists in 
then is because it was still off season in June or the beginning of June. But there, of course, as in every city, there were more touristy places or places that felt more touristy and others that did not and were rather local. Restaurants I can recommend to you are La Tecchia Vegana for more traditional food, Sulla Luna for breakfast, Orient Express if you crave something else than pizza and pasta, and Gelateria Il Dodge for ice cream or typical Venetian ice cream, which is rather with a lot of milk, but they had a vegan chocolate ice cream there, which is usually normal, common in Italy because it has a high percentage of cacao and no milk in it. Two things that we weren't able to do because of the shortage of time was to visit the church Santa Maria della Salute and to go on a drive with one of the gondolieres because this was too expensive. And to be honest, uh, regarding this aspect, Venice reminds me a lot of any Dutch city with canals, to be honest. With the only difference that you do not pay an overpriced taxi drive there. A friend of mine once told me that the most beautiful part about the city is its sight at night and I completely agree. I did not know that Venice was so romantic as a city and yeah I can completely recommend you a stroll by night unless in some areas it's not very safe to walk alone as a woman but you have to wash your pockets anyway and trust you got feelings otherwise you would not walk alone anywhere concerning climate change a lot will happen in the future with venice because of the rising sea levels when the temperatures air temperatures increase further so they really have to think about solutions that the flooding is prevented mm. i wonder if you think completely free of your mind what would you think of as a solution this concern matters to not only venice but also other cities like new york or any city that has built an extension by landfill for example have you also been interrailing once somewhere or have you been to the Biennale and what was your experience with it? And what was your impression of the city seeing this video? I wonder. I hope that you enjoy your summer days as well. I'm super curious to hear from you what you are up to. And until then, take care. Much love, your Lily. Yes, mind that Venice has many stairs and I recommend fit legs and not to travel with a trolley.